Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne. Again, I'm taking a look at using Hypothesis with Google Classroom and Google Drive. So I use uh, Classroom a lot for uh, my classes here at the institution. Um, and I also use Hypothesis. In the past, I've just given students PDFs to mark up and annotate. Um, but we've been having some challenges with uh, the way that PDFs are handled in Classroom and by proxy the Google Drive. So I want to talk about sort of how to set this up and get it working because it's been causing um, some issues. So I'm going to step into one of my classes here. And if I go to the classwork area, I can go in and I can see that one of my readings is I want students to read and mark up and annotate this um, PDF that I've shared with them. I've created a a private group for them to be able to mark this up and, and annotate. Um, but some of the issue that we had was that when you click on it, what it's doing is it's giving you the PDF, but it's giving you the PDF um, saved or shared, depending on the way that you look at this, through Google Drive. So for those of you that don't use Classroom, what will happen is when I create a new assignment, it's taking that file that I upload and it's saving it and sharing it through Google Drive. It makes sense, it's all Google properties. The issue is, and I'm in Chrome here, um, the issue is the way that it shares that browser out. So normally this wouldn't be a problem, a student could read the PDF, um, but what we found is that it doesn't, uh, Hypothesis doesn't really like the way that that is shared. Um, so what I wanna do is start at the very beginning. So if I, get started here I already have an account with hypothesis um, but I uninstalled it just to show you what this would look like I uninstalled the the extension so I'm signed in right now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down I'm gonna add the Chrome extension so now it has added the extension to my browser I'm going to close out this tab because I already know how to use it. I'm going to dip this down a little bit so you can see my hypothesis button is here. So if I click it, I should have hypothesis start up for me on this tab. It's taking some time. So while that's doing what it wants to do, I'm going to go back over here. So if I go to the PDF, what will happen is it will load this PDF in my browser window. If I click on Hypothesis again, we'll see the Hypothesis tabs open up. Something's uh, funky with my browser right now, so it's not showing like normal. But if I click on this, I can see that I can log in. Okay, so I am logged in now to Hypothesis. One of the issues that we have, though, is and students notice this first for some reason it was not letting you do individual line annotations it would let you do a full page annotation or you could do page notes um, and that's not what we wanted to do so here's the workaround um, so if I'm in drive or actually when I open up the file for the first time what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to close Hypothesis because it's hard to see. For some students in Drive, what it'll do is it'll show you a little download button here um, to save that PDF. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this, and I'm going to go to Open in a New Window. But what I'm really looking for is a way to download that PDF. So for some students, it's showing it right away. Other students, it's not. You have to click on the little three dots. But at some point, you want to be able to download this PDF to your desktop. And so when you do that, at the bottom of your browser, once again, I'm on Chrome, I will. it'll show up down here in the bottom. If I click that, Chrome is set up, at least my version of Chrome is set up right now, to open the PDF in the browser. Okay, So it'll, it'll open a new tab, and it'll open up that PDF there. The nice thing is, once you do that, then you can click on that Hypothesis uh, extension and mark up the PDF as you normally would. Now, once again, once I'm here, if I open this up and go to the Options space for the extension, 
So what I did is I control clicked on the mouse and then you or you can right click on a PC. So I can get rid of this. I can go down to access to file URLs. I can close that tab out. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reload this page just to make sure that it's working exactly the way that I want. And now I can see that hypothesis is started up. I can go in, I can take notes just the way that I normally would. And then I can leave tags and everything will work now the way that we wanted to, to use it previously. Okay. So what I think is happening is when Google Classroom first shares the PDF, it's sharing the version with what I'm calling this Google Drive wrapper. So it's sort of like this lens that you're you're able to view the PDF through. The challenge is that doesn't play nicely with Hypothesis. So what you can do is you can open this thing in a new window or click on those dots and go to download it right away. Once you have that, uh, you want to basically get to the point where it's not showing you this uh, sort of like little uh, intro piece. So I'm going to download it again. And what it'll do is it'll show off in the bottom of my browser and I can click in Chrome to get it. Um, and, and lastly, while I'm here, I'll show you if it's not opening automatically in Chrome. What you can also do is and once again, I'm on uh, a Mac. This is going to be a little bit different on a PC, but you pretty much know uh, how this should operate. So if I go into desktop, I'm going to go to my downloads. And now I can see the latest document. So here's the chapter that I opened. What I could always do if it's not working correctly for me is I can basically open a new tab in my browser and I can click and drag the tag, the, the document over and it'll open it up that way. Okay, and you'll see this looks a little bit nicer than my previous version, which was over here uh, or wherever it was. You can see that it's a little bit nicer uh, than the, the other version that I had. So once again, I'm just clicking and dragging the PDF into a new browser tab and it's opening it up as well. And then I can use Hypothesis here to mark it up. Obviously for my students, uh, they're using a public group, so they're gonna wanna change this over to whatever public group that you have or whatever private group you have, sorry. And then you can mark up and annotate there. Um, so that's basically the way to get Hypothesis and working and have it play nice with Google Classroom if you're sharing PDFs. Um, if you're sharing a normal web page, a quote unquote normal web page. So when I start students with Hypothesis, I will have them go out and mark up a page. So I give them a, a link down here of a document, this literacy page to go mark up. This operates just like a normal web page and using Hypothesis, there's no real issues coming out of Google Classroom. Um, the main issue seems to be our use of PDFs and Google Drive and Google Classroom. So hopefully that helps you out. Um, sorry about some of the confusion, but want to make sure that we sort of all understand how to get this working. Uh, have a great rest of the day.